Worried? Is that all you have? Ah, you're kidding me! You're getting worse! You troll like a little girl! Nothing. You'd have to be a sissy not to ride it. <laughs> After you. Contest? For what? To eat all those hot dogs? What else? No thanks. I don't like hot dogs. Neither do I. I just milked a cow. But don't let us stop you, Yar. Yeah! Have you ever done this before? 
Lots of times. Me and my dad always come to these kind of fairs. So how many hot dogs can you eat? Two, three, four, five? Uh, more? What, ten? Actually, last contest I ate 17. And I didn't even win. Ew. Ew. I forget it. You guys want to play some skee-ball? Yeah, let's go. Why'd you get all quiet after you decided not to enter that hot dog eating contest? I felt weird. I didn't know you guys don't like hot dogs. What's the big deal? Who cares? Well, I do. What are you so upset for? Do your parents own a hot dog factory? No, it's not really about hot dogs. I guess I just figured we all ate the same stuff. Who does that? I don't really think about what I eat. I just want to eat it. My mom just never makes me hot dogs. My mom thinks hot dogs are gross. I like the food my mom cooks. I milked a cow yesterday. So what do you eat if you don't like hot dogs? Well, it's not like hot dogs are the only food. I guess I just never paid attention to what you guys eat for lunch. What are you eating anyway? I'm eating some kimbap. What's that? Seaweed with rice. Seaweed? Cool. What's that weird sandwich you're eating, Bobak? I don't know. It's called cutlet. My mom puts it in this bread called lavash. What's that, Sanjay? It's called samosa. It's mashed potatoes and some other stuff in a pastry shell. Can I try some? Um, sure. But my mom makes it kind of spicy, so look out. I love spicy! Trade with me? What are you eating? A peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Well, um, the peanut butter is kind of a fancy, crunchy style, and the jelly is from, um, Spain, I think. Wow! What is that you're eating? It's called Cuckoo. Want to trade? No, sorry. But ask Suzanne. She has the same thing. Really? Do you think she'll trade? Maybe. So, you guys are coming to my birthday party, right? I am. Thanks for inviting us. Well, you guys are just two of my guests. I'm inviting everybody. I told my daddy I want the biggest party ever. No one will ever have as big a party as me. What's that? It's cuckoo my mommy made me for lunch. It looks gross. It isn't. It's really good. You can have it. Look, Damaris, Susan is eating poo-poo. Don't bring your poo-poo to my birthday party. Watch where you're going. Oh, sorry. Hey, I was looking for you. Why? Someone said you might want to trade your lunch with me because my lunch is boring. Well, not boring, but not as interesting as your lunch. So I want to... Uh, what do you want, Michael? Will you trade lunches with me? Yes. I mean, uh, if you want. Cool. Your food is cool. Your food is uh, cool too. How 
is food cool? I'm not sure. Uh, why is your face doing that? Uh-oh. Well, you're going to be okay. But what exactly were you eating that caused such an allergic reaction? I don't know. Did you eat the cuckoo I gave you? Not exactly. Not exactly? What does that mean? What did you eat? I traded with a boy for his PB&J sandwich. What's a PB&J sandwich? I don't know. Hmm. I wonder if it has peanuts in it. You are allergic to peanuts. Well, I think it has peanut butter in it. And so she says, I didn't know peanut butter had peanuts in it. <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh, well, kids will be kids. Not to change the subject, but in light of what happened between Susan and Michael, what do you think about having a potluck party where we could try some of each other's foods? Bobak tells me that Michael always seems interested in foreign foods. Maybe his family would like to try some of these foods as well. I'm in. I'll cook some homemade Indian food. And Leila and I will make some Persian food. This is going to be so much fun. I used to throw large parties in Iran all the time. If you'd like, I can plan the party. I'll help you. Excellent. I'll start calling the guests first thing tomorrow. Hey, Mom, can we have something exotic for breakfast? Well, we're having French toast. Is that exotic enough? Yeah, if it's French. I guess so. What's your new obsession with the exotic, anyway? All the kids at school eat really cool foods, and I always bring some sort of a boring sandwich. I want something a little more interesting. Eh, interesting's overrated. So, I just got off the phone with Farah, and it looks like we're going to have ourselves a potluck. Who's Farah? One of Michael's friend's parents. What potluck? That's what I was telling you. We're going to have a potluck where all the kids' parents are going to bring samples of their home-cooked meals. We're going to have? Why not? Actually, Farah offered to have it at her house, but I figured it would be fun to do it here. Yeah, great idea, honey. Don't be like that, honey. Have an open mind. What for? I know what I like. I like good old-fashioned American food, like frankfurters, hamburgers, and pizza. I don't need to try anything else. Can I be excused for a second? I just want to go get something from my room. Sure, sweetie. You know, it wouldn't kill you to try something new. Can I get that in a guarantee? Look, uh, don't do this for me, or or even for you, but try to do it for your son. It would mean so much to him. Fine, but you don't need to treat me like a child. I'm an adult, remember? Hey, Dad. I think you should read this. doing here? We're busy being interesting and delicious. What are you? A sandwich? I'm a Cuban sandwich. It's roasted pork, ham, cheese, mustard, and a pickle. And then my dad uses a special kind of Cuban bread that he grills. Sounds kind of like a ham and cheese sandwich. I think it's better. It's in the way that it's grilled. I can't explain it, but it's just great. Oh, no. You stay away from me. I'm spicy. You smell great. We all smell great, and we taste good, too. Here, try some. You are tasty. We're all good. Mm -hmm. 
Do you guys want to take a bite out of me? You don't smell like anything. No thanks, we'll just eat each other. Michael's all alone. I can't help it. I just don't want to eat him. Maybe he can make himself more interesting. More interesting. More interesting. I'm going to make myself more interesting! Go to sleep. I can't believe you're all coming over to my house. This is going to be so cool. I'm going to get to be just like you guys and eat your food. It's really not such a big deal. It's just food. Uh, that's because you get to eat the good stuff all the time. Eh. Sanjay, would you say that you're some kind of food expert? I'm pretty good at eating it. I was wondering if you could help me make something spicy for the party. Like what? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we can make up our own food. Count me in, Yar. What's bugging you? My dad. He promised me anything I wanted for my birthday. And now my mom said I can't do it. What good is it having a dad who's all talk and no action? <laughs> what are you smiling about? I'll bet your dad does the same thing. Not exactly. Well, forget you. Forget all of you. What did you bring for your lunch today? A turkey sandwich. No cuckoo? Not today. That's too bad. I think that it's great that your mom has time to make you lunch. My dad works, so I have to buy a school lunch every day. You're pretty lucky. Really? You think it's okay that my mom makes me weird looking lunches? Sure. Besides, I'm not your friend because of what you eat. I don't know. I just grabbed a whole bunch of stuff from my parents' cabinets. Black salt? What's that? Salt that's pink. So, what are we making? I don't know. Any ideas? How about soup? That seems simple enough. Do you have to cook soup on a stove? I think so. Then no. I'm not allowed to use the stove. How about we grill something? I can't grill. Can you use an oven? No. So what can you use? The toaster. What? That's it? And... The microwave. Yeah, I can also use the microwave. Boy, this might be harder than I thought. Mansoor and I were discussing what a wonderful party this is. Such delicious food. Why aren't you having any? I guess you can call me an old-fashioned kind of guy. You know, I like my American food. Hot dogs, hamburgers, pizza. <clears throat> you realize all the foods you mentioned aren't American? No way. Of course. I'd like to welcome everybody to our potluck here today. So gather around, let's all sit down and dive in right away. We've got curry pear, and that right there is chai tea in your cup, along with lentil beans and five cuisines. So come on, folks, eat up. No, thanks. What do you mean? Oh, that's the strangest looking food I've ever seen. You got to try it, then you'll like it. Got to give yourself a treat. Here's kubade. What's kubade? It's grilled up, ground up meat. This is kimchi. It's Korean. Here's some Cuban mango trout. Don't waste some. Come on, taste some. Try it out. I wouldn't like it. How do you know? Well, the way it looks, the way it cooks. Gotta go. How about some grilled up lamb kebab? Or some Indian pickled squab? I like corn on the cob. This stuff, no. 
There's lots of food you've never tasted. From India, Iran, across Asia to Malaysia, Yemen, Cuba, Lebanon. Try some cardamom and chutney mixed with saffron curry paste. It's delish on top of fish, so have a taste. You want delish? You know what I wish? Wish I was eating a great big dish of ketchup fries, and onion rings, chocolate shake, and them donut things with some rainbow sprinkles spread on top, candy bar and some soda pop, a burger made with a great big slab of meat, topped with onions all across, and a great big sloppy sauce. And that, my friends, is what I like to eat. You've got to try out something different. Like a Cuban fried plantain. Kufta and sabzi. Paella is from Spain. Bread called puri and tandoori. And this Persian tart I bake. I want food that's from America, like pie and chocolate cake. How about this sweet Korean treat made of dough? No. How about instead some toftoon bread and feta cheese? Please. This is puri espinach. I would say garbage. Sunde. No way. Sofrito. No, I veto all this food you can exclude. Cause listen, dude, I'm in the mood for something nice. Rice. Got to try out something different. Like this eggplant for them, John. A pruna date are really great. Eat up before they're gone. I don't want it. I don't like it. And what's more, I never would. So forget it. I don't get it. And won't let it in my mouth. Hey, that tastes good. Let me try those empanadas and that Cuban salad, too. What's the sweet treat? It's Korean. Yeah, they call it popping soup. Beef with parsley, herbs, and mint. And that we call Koresh. It's got rhubarb, thyme, and lemon lime. Oh, man, that tastes the best. You, you got, got to try it. it. Man, I love it. Gotta, gotta give that food a chance. Ooh, I like it when you spike it with them spicy pepper plants. You got to open up your palate and then try out something new. I'll take some more of that chicken and Korean fried mandu. Here's coconut curry soup with some lemongrass I grew. Got to try it and you'll like it. What do you think? You can't talk, I'm eating. Because mm. it's for you. I knew I was going to like this. Thank you all for coming. And bringing food with you. Yeah, the food was awesome. I just hope my dad doesn't get fat. I'm glad dad tried all this great new exotic food. Now maybe we can eat more interesting stuff. I'm glad too. But you know, Michael, as wonderful as it is to be open-minded about the foods of other cultures, don't think that means that the food you eat is boring. I love American food. And when I was in Iran, we would eat grilled corn on the cob all the time. I loved it. I learned in school that corn is American. I milked a cow at the fair. See? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you eat, what you can eat, or what you don't like to eat. What is important is that you have variety and choices. I guess you're right, Mom. And you know what? At the end of the day, it all ends up in the same place. <laughs>